All right, I hit record. Take it away whenever you're ready. Okay, here we go. Uh, welcome, everyone. This is the January 2022. It's the first virtual meeting for the South and Watermain project of 2022, which 2022 will be our last year of this project. So this is the first of the last. Everyone get excited. Let's see if I can get my slides to progress. There we go. My name is Will. I'm the project manager for this project. This is a Charlotte Water City of Charlotte project. If you need to get in touch with me, if there's any project issues, that's my cell phone number and my email address, which you know I monitor those both quite frequently. If you are a local business uh, in our corridor on South Boulevard and are having issues and maybe day-to-day -day stuff, uh, especially things like you might have a tractor trailer coming soon and you're concerned about access to your parking lot, Keith Hunter on the far right is going to be your contact for that kind of a issue. That's his email address and that's his phone number. He's uh, one of our construction inspectors on the project. And then lastly, if you just have an overarching question or inform informational, you know, you want to know more about what's going on or you just have a curiosity kind of thing, then you can visit our website, charlotteswim.com, or send an email to this info at charlotteswim.com, which will then send an email out to uh, a larger, more diverse team of people that can uh, help you get to the right resource to answer your questions and or concerns. Today, we're just going to have this brief meeting and we're talking about you know, the, the timeline for what's about to happen. So some of you may be aware that, of course, we just finished up uh, phase seven and moved our barrier wall. And there will still be some work back in phase seven, even though the barrier wall has been shifted. We add new services. Now the line is active and, and functioning, which it is uh, building a 24 inch water main down the middle of South Boulevard. And so that water main is active south of Remount Ideal. And so we'll be going back and tying in all the uh, businesses and residences and anyone that is attached to that South Boulevard line will we'll get a new service attachment to that new line here in the coming month. And we are now at what's in called, we're calling it phase phase eight, right? Which is up to Atherton Street. And this is, you know, like all of our phases is expected to last two to three months. So, you know, February to April timeframe. Uh, there's a lot of weather dependencies there and, and other issues. and. You know, fingers crossed things have been going smoothly so far. So we've been expecting, you know, uh, longer timelines, but we've been beating our, our deadlines. If you were to go back and watch all the previous meetings, you'll see that we've been beating a lot of our uh, previously proposed deadlines. So things are things are looking good. And then just to give you a real far advanced picture, of course, you know, once phase eight is done, we will uh, move our barrier wall from where it currently ends. Um, that's where it will start. And then we'll be going up towards Iverson Way, um, which is obviously another big, important intersection. but. Uh, it'll be tricky, but we'll we'll get it done, and we'll we'll continue to move north. Here's a map of sort of what the barrier wall looks like right now. As you can see, we are blocking off Atherton Street. So if you're coming southbound on South Boulevard, you cannot turn left into Atherton. If you are going northbound on Atherton, you can't turn left on the South Boulevard either. So, you know, we keep trying to tell sort of. If you want to really simplify things, you just say, look, there's no left turns uh, anywhere. But all the pedestrian accesses are still open, and you can still turn right everywhere um, into anything. So that's what it currently looks like. As I just mentioned on the previous slide, that that red line will shift north in the next phase, and the end of that red line will become the beginning of our next phase, and then we'll continue to move north uh, until we get to Worthington. Worthington is sort of the final destination of our of our project. And that's for the most part it. Are there any questions from anyone on the phone? I've got the chat up and I've got the Q&A up, so you can put your questions into either one of those. You can discuss. Ajanel, Cam, can y'all see the chat and Q&A? Do you see any questions coming in? I do not see any questions coming in. If anyone has any issues unmuting themselves, just let me know. But I don't see any questions right now. Uh, let me know in the chat if you have any issues with unmuting yourself. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and cover just a little bit more information here while people maybe are coming up with questions to ask. Uh, if you want to have sort of more up-to-date information about the project itself. You know, for example, when these meetings happen in the future, 
you can get on our text message list. Uh, just text South End Water to 31996. And then you'll receive a lot of, well, not a lot. We, we send out text messages for sort of critical things. Like, for example, if a telephone pole gets hit by a car and, and the road is blocked, we'll, we would notify you of that kind of thing. Or, you know, when the barrier wall is shifting or any other just sort of, um, you know, updates and exciting news about, about the project. We don't send that many text messages out, so if you're worried about too many text messages, uh, don't be. I think we send maybe like one or two a month at most. Charlotte Swim website is again mentioned there on the left side. That's a great place to go and find out more information about the project. There's some old videos um, up there, I believe, for project meetings and just kind of other accessory information and, and about why we're doing the product, et cetera. And then uh, lastly, I mentioned this, this info at charlottesum.com website. That's a I mean, I'm sorry, info at charlottesum.com email address. It's a great place to reach the larger project team if you just have an information request or a comment or, or question or, or whatever. This is the same slide from the beginning. Um, again, if you're a business owner and you're having some sort of day to day issues, uh, Keith Hunter is the best person to reach out to. A lot of you probably have already interacted with him. He has done a really good job getting out in front of our construction project and notifying people uh, before we're in the way. And then, you know, he's also sort of working hand in hand as well once we are actually out front of uh, businesses and residences. And then again, on the left side, my name is Will. Uh, that's my cell phone number. So feel free to text that any hour of the night or day. And that's my email address. And then one last slide here, right? City of Charlotte, Charlotte Water Project. I think that's all I had. So go back to the question slide one more time. I guess we'll wait uh, until we decide to stop. As you know, or Cam, do y'all have any other questions or comments or anything you would like me to address? No, I think you covered it, but I do think we had someone that come in, came in towards the end of the meeting. If you just want to go back to that slide, that shows the timeline of the project real quick. This one or this one? This one. Yeah, I don't see any more questions. So if you want to go ahead and wrap it up, I think we're good. Okay, thank you all for coming. And again, uh, I'll put the contact slide up one more time. I think a lot of you may already have this kind of information, but uh, yeah, specifically, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, have a good day. Thank you everyone for joining us.